All right, today I'm going to show you how to use a humidifier. Right here, I have VIX Warm Mist Humidifier. There's different types of humidifier. There's even a sonic humidifier, but this uses a warm mist humidifier. This is what most humidifiers are. They are warm mist humidifiers. And I'm gonna show you how it works. Now, this one by VIX, it says comforting relief from cough and congestion works with Vapo Steam to provide medicated mist that helps relieve coughs because I think VIX has something to where you can add to it to actually open up your breathing passages that's proprietary towards um, VIX. I don't use that, but here's what they're talking about at the bottom. Uh, we, you can uh, look into that yourself right here. This actually opens up. These things are here. You can check into that if you decide to get VIX uh, warm mist humidifier. But I'm just going to open this up and show you how to use a humidifier. Most humidifiers are similar to this, but every humidifier has its own specific instructions that you should read the, your owner's manual before you use it. But this is a general guide. So this soothing mist medicine cup at the top, um, filter free. There's no filter for this right here. Wide tank opening allows for easy filling and cleaning. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Let me grab my opening tool. So I'm just going to open this from the top. All right. And pull out the humidifier. We're going to set this up, add water to it, and get it going. All right, so here it is right here. humidifier, the VIX humidifier, this right here, it shows you warm mist humidifier use and care, read your owner's manual and abide by before you use it, but I'm, this is just a general setup, you show it right here, I'm going to pull this out and show you, alright, so inside is a humidifier right here, in this custom Christmas wrapper present plastic. Pull this back. Inside is the humidifier. It's a plug that goes on it. I'm going to go ahead and unravel this. All right, so here is the cord, nice long cord, so you can uh, put it in places that are perhaps not always ideal. So this is the plug. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to the wall. Go ahead, plug it in. And so now it's all plugged in. We're gonna take a look at this really quickly after it's plugged in. So here, right here, is the tank. This is where the water goes right here. I'm going to put water in there momentarily. <coughs> now this humidifier in particular holds up to one gallon of water and I suggest using distilled water. I mean I guess you could use tap water but the problem with tap water sometimes you may get calcium buildup in there over time and that becomes an issue. Uh, your manufacturer of your particular humidifier may instruct ways on getting rid of that but I always use distilled water to keep from getting calcium buildup. And right here at the top, this is where they put that VIX stuff in there to help clear out your lungs that we were talking about earlier. Goes in right here, and it just sits right here as the steam comes up. And down here, what is this? It says remove, pull to, to remove. Enjoy your free VIX scent pad sample enclosed. So there's a scent pad enclosed. I don't see any scent pad. Maybe someone took it out. I don't see a scent pad. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Take this off. Just lever control down in here. Pops off. You can see down in there. This is where the steam comes up. This is going to be hot right here. This is a place where you have to stay away from because when this is on and steam is coming up, it's going to be hot. So here it is right here. 
there's controls right here. You have the low and high. Let me get in closer. We're going to go over those. But first, I'm going to fill it up with water while it is still off. Let me close that, push that back. And so I'm going to fill this up with water. All right, so in order to fill this up with water, just simply come up here. And I'm just going to open up the top or the bottom lid down here. And I have some water already made. I'm not going to fill it up with a full gallon. It can handle one gallon, but this is probably like a quarter to fill it up with water. So once I have that there, I'm going to go ahead and take my top and put it back securely. Just like that. And it shows right here which way to turn it. So I have the water in there. And I use this part here. This is for carrying it around. Put my hand right there. And I'm just going to simply place it on top right here. And so once it's on top, it's all ready to go. I'm going to get, get a better view of it right here. And you simply just turn it over this way. And so this one in particular has two settings. It has, well, three settings. Off is a setting. And so what you have this right here. You see how it's one drop? That is the low setting. And then I can take it to this one right here. You can see that light, light comes on. That is a high setting. <coughs> Excuse me. So in a matter of seconds, this is going to start steaming. And I'm going to show you how it steams really quickly. So there's water in here. This can handle up to a gallon. I have probably a quarter gallon inside of here. But the steam, it's heating up the coil right here. I have it in place. The steam is going to rise up through here. Now with a humidifier, it's important that you keep it away from, because the steam comes up here, you want to keep it away from walls or things that steam could possibly damage. Because steam's going to be coming up here and you're going to want it uh, to be, the, you know, the humidifier to be on for quite a while. And it could damage things like curtains, shades, or other things. You want to make sure it's on a flat surface. All right. Make sure it's on a flat surface you know, away from things. It gets hot, make sure pets and kids can't run into this and potentially tip this over or stand near it or anything because th this is going to be hot right here and they can get burnt, steam burnt, is that even a thing, by the steam that rises right here. Now, all humidifiers are not the same and they have their own individual instructions for the, that particular humidifier. And it's important that you read the owner's manual, the user manual for your particular humidifier, so you know the exact instructions on how to set it up, the warnings, and everything before you use it. I'm just giving you a general guide as to how to use a humidifier. Now, this is steaming up. Now, it's slow. Now, a lot of people may be wondering, okay, this humidifier, is it going to be able to humidify a larger room? And the answer is yes, but it takes time. So the smaller the room, the faster that you can raise the humidity in that room with the humidifier on. Now there's two different selections right here. One, it goes faster. The high settings uses more steam, more water, faster, so it can uh, humidify your room a lot faster. Or you can have it on the small one so it humidifies it at a lower rate. Now, when it's on, if you're in a dry room, the humidity is going to drop as soon as you turn this off. So this is why you keep it on, keep it running for an extended period of time. And that's, that's what I do. Okay, I let it go for an extended period of time. If you're in a large room, it's going to take a longer time to humidify the large room. Keep that in mind when using the humidifier. Okay, so I have the humidifier and uh, this is it right here. This is how you use the humidifier in a second. The steam is going to be coming up shortly. The steam is going to be coming up. Just give it a couple of seconds. I'm going to show you. You can already see it a little bit. I'm getting it closer so you can see that steam that's coming up right here. It's slowly, very subtle, but it's coming up. All right. So that is how you use a humidifier. Basic instructions on how to use a humidifier. I hope this video was helpful. Now, remember to read your user manual on your particular humidifier 
before you actually use it. Read all the warnings and everything with it before you use it. Thanks a lot.